What's up Rare Candy? It's your boy Zach Lesage and we are back here on the Rare Candy YouTube channel and today we're going to be going over some cards that are playable in our post rotation format and I've been categorizing these cards. I'm sure you must have watched a couple of my other videos but if you haven't I've been going over cards in the post rotation format that serve a specific function. Maybe your favorite card such as I don't know Rescue Stretcher lost uh basically got lost in the rotation it's gone so these are some cards that might even replace some cards that you've liked before maybe you've heard about these cards maybe you haven't but these are all cards that you can get back from your discard pile or help you get cards back from your discard pile um, for those of you who don't know pokemon did an article on pokemon.com that went over some of the cards that we're losing in our rotation so our rotation is going to be losing cards from Sun and Moon all the way up to, I believe, Crimson Invasion. And our new format is going to be Ultra Prism on. Right now, we're on Ultra Prism to Unbroken Bonds format. So here's where we are. So like I said, these are some cards that can get you cards back from your discard pile or can get themselves back from the discard pile and might help you make your deck a little bit more resourceful, let's say. So I don't want to waste too much of your time. Let's jump into it. Grab yourself a snack and away we go. So first on our list is a card that's seen a lot of success in our in the history since it's been released is Oranguru from Ultra Prism. So resource management allows you to put three cards from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck in any order. While this card is mainly seen success in control based decks, it can grab back any cards. So if your deck is often losing resources or you need to get some certain key elements of your deck back, Oranguru can help you get there in a pinch. Next up on our list is a lesser known card is Delcaddy from Celestial Storm. So when you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put two supporter cards from your discard pile into your hand. So if you have a lot of one of tech supporters, or if you need to get a little bit of an extra consistency boost for your deck, Search for Friends can help you searching for cards such as Brock's Grit, even maybe even control cards like Mars, or a normal supporter that's a staple such as Cynthia. So we already went over this in a past video, Florges, that it could be more of a control aspect card to get back other cards like Crushing Hammer every single turn, but this card allows you to get item cards back from your discard pile and put them on top of your deck. So it's an interesting way to search out some item cards that we don't really have too many cards that allow us to grab item cards back. So this might fit the need for your specific deck if you are looking for a way to get item cards back. Do note it is a stage 2 Pokemon and it might be difficult to get some of those cards back. Victini Prism Star. While it seems like Infinity is going to be doing a lot of extra damage for all the basic energy cards in your discard pile, it actually shuffled those cards back in. There's not a lot of great ways to get energy cards back from your discard pile. Um, so if your deck runs through a lot of energies, maybe there's a great way for Victini to get a big attack off and get those energies back into your deck. Gyratina, while we went over this in our damage modification video, Distortion Door does allow you to get Gyratina back from the discard pile onto your bench. In a format without Rescue Stretcher, a Pokemon that can kind of resurrect itself from the discard pile is a huge plus because we can use the same Gyratina over and over and over again, not only for Distortion Door, but to attack with Gyratina. We've seen this um, in our post-rotation decks such as Malamar kind of have success with this strategy because it gets back the same Gyratina every single turn and powers it up with Malamar. I'm sure we'll see a lot of this card in our post-rotation metagame and I fully expect a lot of people to be playing this deck. Mewtwo. So a new card from the Unbroken Bond set. So when you play this card from your hand down onto your bench, you grab a supporter card and you can put it on top of your deck. So it's kind of like a lesser form of Delcaddy. You don't evolve it, you could play it down from your hand, and it is a basic Pokemon. So it is a cool way to get back supporter cards, especially if you discarded a Brock's Grit early, or if you need a Cynthia for the top of your deck, maybe you can nab it off an Acro Bike. It's a cool way to get some stuff out there. Electro Charger. While this card's a little bit specific because it gets Electro Powers back, you might be wondering, how do you get item cards back? Well, if you are looking to get Electro Power back from your discard pile, you can get this card back with Electro Charger if you're a little bit lucky with your coin flips. Energy Recycle System, notably an underused card in our past format. You can grab a basic energy card from your discard pile and put it into your hand, or you could shuffle three basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. If you happen to deck that discards energies from your hand, or discards energy from play, or if you find that you're running out of a lot of resources late game, Energy Recycle System might be a card that you want to include into your deck. Similarly enough, we have Energy Recycler, which allows you to shuffle five basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. I have personally used this card in my Baby Blacephalon deck in the last format, so it is a very strong card, but 
Um, some of you might be like, Zach, do you see this little thing over here where it says it's from Guardians Rising? Isn't that deck, ro isn't that set rotated? Well, this card actually got reprinted as a full art or golden trainer card in one of the newer sets. So this card actually survives our rotation because it was reprinted. So you can use this copy of the card if you're looking to get a lot of energies back in, from your discard pile into your deck. So a little bit more specific here. Fire Crystal allows you to grab three fire energy cards from your discard pile and put them into your hands. This card has seen a lot of success in Rush Ram Charizard decks that will survive the rotation. So a great way is for your active Rush Ram Charizard to get knocked out, lose a bunch of fire energies, grab them back with Fire Crystal, and then use Welder to attach them to your active Pokemon, or any Pokemon that is. Um, it is specific to fire energies, so if you are building a fire, a fire type deck, you might want to look into this card if you haven't thought of it already. Or if you're playing a deck that runs fire energies and it's not a fire type deck, maybe fire crystal would be a great way for you to get some of your energy back. Um, judge whistle is a little bit of a weird card because it only allows you to get a judge from your discard pile and put it into your hand, but I did want to list it if you are playing judge in this new format. In a format where we have no N or um, Marshadow to kind of stop our opponent's hands from growing, judge seems like it might see a big comeback in a way and judge whistle in a way can allow us to have multiple judge or use judge every single turn if you're not trying to get it back from your discard pile you also can draw a card which is a huge kind of plus side to this card lure ball so we've kind of seen this in carl barone's kind of vega volt built in the past format where you flip three coins to get some evolution cards back from your discard pile into your hand. Um, in this new format, it's kind of unsure if Vikavolt will still see success, but if it does, I'm sure it will play this card. It's un I'm also unsure if this card will see success in other evolution-based decks, but you never know exactly how the format's going to grow, and this card at least can get some cards back from our discard pile into our hands. So this might be a really cool, cool way to get some cards back. You never know what you're going to need to search out of your discard pile. Palpad. So this card has seen a lot of success in Zorak decks because they use a lot of supporter cards or will trade away their supporter cards. In this format, this is one of the best way to get supporter cards back from your discard pile into your deck, especially if you need to use them over and over. One of the best supporter cards to get back with Palpad is Welder, and I fully expect decks to run Welder that run Welder will likely run this card or at least think of running this card. Mount Coronet. So again, an often an often underutilized card. It can get you back a couple metal energies from your discard pile into your hands. Um, it's pretty cool in metal type decks or even some kind of stall decks that you can continuously get back metal energy cards, especially if you need to discard cards. This could be a great way to kind of offset the effects of electromagnetic radar or mysterious treasure if you are able to run those cards in these decks. If you're not, um, Mount Coronet does seem like it's a staple in metal type decks at the very least, so maybe you can include it if you're building a metal type deck, or at least a deck that runs metal type energy. Brock's Grit. So this is really the card that a lot of people are looking to take over um, Rescue Stretcher in its absence, because it allows you to search up to six Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. So it's kind of like a double super rod and the drawback is that it's a supporter it's not really a huge drawback so i fully expect this card will see some success in the future um it just it's really hard to search out because we don't have tapu lele gx in our format so you might need to fish this out another way maybe by a reds challenge naturally drawing into it um but another good way is using Pokegear 3.0 or Persian gx's catwalk it's cards that are more like neutral to search out brock's grit would be a great way to search it out Diantha. So this is really fairy specific, but if one of your fairy Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn, you can grab two cards from your discard pile and put them into your hand. Now, it's unsure. we're unsure if fairy types are going to be a huge kind of force in our new metagame, but if they do become a huge force, or if you include some fairy type tech cards, Diantha could be a great way to grab back some resources from your discard pile that were fallen. It's not anything, it's not specific at all, which means you can grab back anything, energies, trainers, items, Pokemon, whatever you need, Diantha will help you get there. Fisherman. So kind of, there's a lot of ways to get energy back from your discard pile. You can get four energy cards back from, four basic energies, I should say back from your discard pile into your hand. If you're using a lot and you need to get energies back, Fisherman's a great way and it's a supporter. So if your opponent blocks you from playing item cards and you're looking to get items back or uh, energies back, Fisherman will help you get there. And last but not least on our list is Lusamine. And don't worry about this blocked cards. It is blocked in the expanded format, not in our standard format. And it is has been reprinted in the Ultra Prism set. So this card is able to be used in our new post-rotation metagame. 
Um, you can get any combination of two supporters or stadium cards from your discard pile and put them into your hand. It does have the drawback of it being a supporter, but you can use Lusamine to grab back other cards. Usually the standard is to play two or three Lusamines if you're playing it at all. So you could always go Lusamine, grab back any stadium or supporter card and grab back another Lusamine. So you could infinitely grab back cards. It has seen a lot of success in stall decks or kind of control decks, but I wouldn't see, be surprised to see success in other decks going forward. So that's our list of cards that can get cards back from our discard pile or discard retrieval cards. Anyways, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, Rare Candy. And if you really liked our video, consider becoming a patron by going to patreon.com slash rarecandytcg. As for me, like I said, I'm Zach Lesage. I hope you enjoyed this video today. You can follow me more on Twitter at ZLesage Pokemon to follow me on my Pokemon journey as I try to become one of the best players in the game. So we'll continue on creating more videos in this series. I hope it helps you build some decks, especially if you're looking for that kind of tech card that you couldn't think of. I've combed through all the cards available in our Ultra Prism to Unbroken Bonds card pool, and these are the cards I could come up with that get cards out of your discard pile. If I miss a card, let me know in, my co in the comments below. I'll be sure to address it going on in the future, and I really appreciate any and all feedback. Thank you so much, everyone. It's been my pleasure. Have a great day.